Hello and welcome to Miss Cooper Show Ponies channel. This week we are going to be looking at side saddle riding. We're just going to do a quick briefing of how you ride side saddle, what you do and how it feels different to normal riding. So the side saddle was actually created in the 14th century. It originally was just a saddle that sat on the side of the horse with a step so the ladies could put their feet on. They literally just sat on the horse like a chair and would watch their husbands out riding. In the 16th century, the side saddle was later developed so the ladies could actually ride in it. This way they could do a bit more. They used to parade around in beautiful dresses like the Concours d'Elegance. De and then later on in the Victorian period, they could actually hunt and ride with the gentlemen. Ladies used to wear a navy side saddle habit if they were single and a black one if they were married. That way when they went out hunting and they were looking for a husband, the, the men knew which ladies were single and married so they could chat each one up either way. The side saddle was created because it was deemed unvirtuous for a woman to ride a horse astride. My side saddle, it's 17th century so it's really old and it is fragile. It's a whippy side saddle, which is an English maker. It has a deer skin seat. I'm trying to let you see, it's pretty worn. I have not had the seat replaced since I've had it. Um, it has a special safety release stirrup. So basically in the event, it should flip off. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, one single stirrup with no tread. This is a new stirrup because the stirrups would originally have been made of nickel, which of course is actually poisonous. Um, it has this over girth, which sits, this is a side saddle girth, which is three folding leather. I don't know whether you can see that. Um, so this one here is the over girth. And this one is the balance strap. This is the one that will come diagonally across the horse's belly. And you'll see on the other side, this is the fixed head and this is the leaping head. So your right leg will sit over this and your left leg will sit neatly under here. If you have it too tight, you will, it will sort of make your knee quite uncomfortable under here. So you can sort of adjust where, where the leaping head is. Um, these panels here would be filled with sheepskin, uh, sheep's wool, and they're painted white to keep it looking fresh and clean. As you can see, there is some damage here, which has all been repaired. Okay. The other side of the side saddle, you can see under here how um, old it is, and by the leather and the way that they actually use nails. So this is the other side of the saddle. This is where your um, balance strap ties up. This has actually all been replaced by a lovely lady who does leather work at Smith Saddlery. So here, this little contraption here hooks to here to keep this flap shut so it doesn't flap around and underneath the girth straps. I'm riding my lovely Connemara pony Will side saddle because he is a good boy to ride in it. You need a pony with smooth movement um, who's quite comfortable. You should be able to ride them without stirrups easily and not be bounced out the saddle. He's also um, very round and soft in his contact. If you have a horse that puts their head up, it then sort of is very uncomfortable for both them and yourself to ride in. Will would not have been the sort of horse that was originally ridden side saddle. No offence Will, but he probably would have been used by a farmer for everyday chores. The sort of um, horses ladies would have ridden are the thoroughbred hack riding pony kind of types. Big beautiful horses that were elegant. As you can see, he's not very elegant. Just pop the side saddle on. It's quite easy. It's just like doing a normal girth up with a ther the over girth, which then goes over the top, and then the balance strap, which you can see from the other side. I actually just have a wet chamois pad underneath because it stops the saddle from slipping. The saddles were made. They were made for the lady 
they there wasn't such thing as a saddle fitter or having the right shaped saddle for your horse they used to just bang anything on so it was just designed how the lady wanted it and inside each saddle that a lady had made should be a metal plaque with her name on so we've never had this one apart but inside it should have a name of the original owner which is really cool lady rides side saddle she wears a side saddle habit um, originally it would have started off with the ladies wearing like the concourse period costumes which you might have seen and then later on more towards the Victorian period when ladies actually started to properly ride in it the riding habit was invented which was a comfortable outfit which they could wear look smart and beautiful but it was practical they could actually ride in it as the period costumes weren't designed for them to go cantering and jumping off in they were just designed for them to sit and look pretty yeah on side saddle originally a man would a man would have just lifted the lady on and then sorted everything out so she just literally was placed on the top um, but actually to get on on your own is quite difficult. I tend to just get on at the mountain block like normal and swing my leg over, but we have a really tall mountain block. I do recommend having someone on the ground with you when you want to get on, but because it is important that you are seated correctly before carrying on. So I've just hopped on, I'm just having a walk around. Um, as you can see, I just have one leg to the left. On the other side, I've got a schooling whip. If I was in competition, I've got a long wooden side saddle cane, which I would use. Um, your horse has to be very responsive of your leg. I mean, a lady would usually wear a spur on the left leg, because obviously the horse is, your main point of control is your left leg. Um, so it is really important that you have a horse that does listen to you, can ride with a whip, and is quite responsive. As you can see, I keep my hands quite low. And a double bridle should usually be worn in side saddle competition. Unless it's a working hunter competition, then you would use your normal working hunter style bridle. People always ask me if side saddle riding is comfortable. The answer, no, it is not comfortable. Some people think maybe it is, it isn't. The idea is from behind, it should look like I'm riding normally. My back should be perfectly straight and the rest of my body twisted. So I feel like that does put a bit more pressure on the rider to remain straight. Um, some people also feel like they get a bit more support from riding side saddle, however, I really rely on my legs when riding and I'm quite an angry rider. I ride quite punchy. So when I ride side saddle, I feel like I don't have that. However, some people love it and find it incredibly comfortable. The idea is that I'm looking much more elegant as what you would riding normally. Um, it's quite hard sitting trot and stay elegant because you're bouncing around and I try and avoid looking like the nodding Churchill dog <laughs> but when I am in my side saddle outfit and my top hat my veil or my bowler I do feel much more elegant the jacket's quite fitted so it does sit, make you sit up quite taller and a lot of ladies ride with a corset underneath because originally they would have done and that really gives them a beautiful shape and makes them look super elegant. So we're not, I'm not the best side saddle rider. I did it when I was 16 and I had a coloured cob. 
and I've just got back into it maybe in the last year or two since I've had him really because he's just so safe and I trust him to look after me when riding side saddle. So yes, we do need some lessons and our saddle doesn't fit the best, but having it altered is impossible because of the age of the saddle. So we do just have to ride with like pads and things underneath to make it as comfortable for him as possible. And we only ride in it every now and again for short periods of time because it isn't particularly good for your horse's back. Hence why ladies have then, after that period, started to change into riding a stride when it became less of a virtuous thing and ladies found it much more comfortable and so did the ponies because it isn't that comfortable for them either and i will add some photos of me in my riding habit there's also the side saddle concourse classes but i don't have any photos of me in the period costume but it is a beautiful class to watch and anyone who wants to have a go at side saddle i really recommend it when i was a um little girl a friend just offered me to have a go on her horse that was trained and after that I was just completely hooked because it just looks so beautiful and it is a completely different style of riding. So thank you so much for watching this vlog. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe too. Thank you.